Hello, hello guys, it's Penzai89, welcome to a new video. What's up guys, great to see you again, and I have some announcements for you guys. I know it's been a little time, not a while, since I made another video, but in this video I will be announcing and talking about some stuff. Now, I know to begin with, uh, shall we, um, um, uh, to begin with, I noticed that I remember the lot there was another Great War project besides the Less We Forget project. There was this other World War One project I might have mentioned. I might have mentioned if you guys are keeping up with my videos and are old to the channel, not as you new guys out there. I was working on a Psalm diorama of Battle of nineteen sixteen. And the Battle of Somme. Now, uh, um, that diorama, unfortunately, is going to be cancelled. I still have the base, but the Somme is no more. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not doing it. Instead, I will be doing the Battle of Gallipoli in 1916. I still got the base. Um, the original base of the trench and the very small vignette, guys. But it won't be Battle of the Somme. It will be a uh, battle of Gallipoli in 1914. Sorry, it started in 1914 and 1915. So it's like 1914, 1915 after the beach landings when they moved a bit further inland of treacherous trench warfare of the, of the uh, Gallipoli on the Turks. On Constant, Constantinople, the Turkish front. So, yeah, it will be Gallipoli instead, guys, making some changes to that project. So, the 1916 diorama is canceled, just to announce that, y'all. Um, I'll be instead doing it Battle of Gallipoli 1914 or whatever, 1915. Because Battle of Gallipoli ended in 1915. The British lost and withdrew and retreat from Turkey, you know, Constantinople. But, as you can see, I have some little British figures over here for actually a different project. I had a pretty cool idea. I was going to do a, not only Gallipoli, but a, just a diorama without a trench out no man's land of the 100 day offensive in 1918. So that is basically the project I'm currently on, working on right now. This guy is supposed to be uh, shot up or cut down by German machine guns. So, and then this guy is in the death fields of no man's land uh, saying, help me, something like that, but. It's supposed to uh, focus on the 100 Day Offensive in 1918. I'm going to call it um, uh, Smashing Against German Concrete. Or yeah, Smashing Against German Concrete. Uh, the 100 Day Offensive, 1918. That will be the name because uh, in No Man's Land, it would be No Man's Land. But remember, 1918, there was no, uh, not as much as heavy artillery bombardments as there used to be. 100 Day Offensive 1918 was, in fact, very, very modern. It wasn't massive artillery bombardments as much as it used to be in mid-war and earlier in the war. It was mostly modern, basically. You had tanks, and No Man's Land wasn't scarred as much as you think it was in some battles. It was probably just... Basically, the rise of modern combat is late war 1918. It was just grass, roads, everything was pr pretty much not, not, uh, everything was leveled, not scarred or destroyed like in regular World War and Trench Warfare. So the scene is there's a road. I'm going to put a diorama base. There's a road and telephone pole, and at the other end is German barbed wire and a r pile of rubble of concrete. So, this is something that I guess in the 100 day offensive, a strong fortified German trench, or maybe something like the Hindenburg Line, who knows. But yeah, it's supposed to be a scene, they're out in no man's land, and this guy went pretty far, but he got cut down by German machine gun near the barbed wire, put, put barbed wire, the green fields of no man's land. Maybe some, I thought it would be cool if I did some poppy, poppies, uh, World War One, Great War poppies as well. Poppy fields are just regular poppies in the green Greenfield, and then a road, and then the, oops, god dang it, and then the road and the telephone pole, sorry about that guys, there was some notification, I had to 
get rid of. But yeah, anyhow, but all our options. Telephone pole, the muddy road, and then the green grass. And then there's a German barbed wire. He's about to smash into it. And just no man's land in particular. Get them getting cut down by uh, machine guns, by German machine guns. And uh, and then the pile rubble of German concrete. So that's basically pretty much a scene of no man's land. And the horrors and the uh, World War One Great War death machine machine guns who pretty much were a death machine. Especially if you heard about that battle of Somme 1916. That, that was total freaking massacre. Anyhow, that's a project so far. And you got the German maze of ger maze of German barbed wire and the concrete. So yeah, that is the project for today. Imagine the, you know the base and got everything else. So that is the announcement of my per project. Basically, uh, basically currently working on. And yes, I also men mentioned to forgot an update on my Sep Dietrich miniature. As you can see, I got his uniform very nice and beautiful, lovely. I'm still work on him too. I'm still uh, working on a Septi trick as well, which he's gonna be part of Best Stone little vignette, one figure vignette, Battle of the Bulge, or Best Stone 1944-1945, the famous World War II German tanker Septi trick. And I also would like to announce, guys, I finally got the Xbox One. Now, I haven't been making a video in a while because, you know, guys, lately, I've been enjoying my new Xbox One. Yeah, I'm also a gamer, just to let you guys know as well, give you a heads up that as well. I love video games, but I'm more of a gamer history person. I don't like games in general. I love games that have history in them and all about the World Wars. Like, one game I have called Battlefield 1. That's a great game. It's all about trench warfare. Battlefield 1 is a battlefield game, but it's based off the Great War. And then you got another game called War Thunder. I got so many cool history games, y'all. I know the games are sort of based off history. But yeah, I just thought I would share that. That's kind of why I haven't made a video in a while. Because I just bought a new Xbox One. Pretty much like a Christmas gift. So, which is great. I have another hobby. Probably didn't tell you guys. No, maybe I told you. I don't know. That I enjoy. So yeah. That is just a few announcements for you guys and stuff. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just a few little, maybe medium big announcements. Um, yeah, that's about it for you guys. 1916 Ball Song Project is cancelled. On with the new project. So, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this stuff, announcements and stuff. This is Pensari89 signing off. Guys, it's December, it's, it's December already. It's Christmas. All of you have a very, very Merry Christmas. And happy modeling, guys. Keep at it. And thank you once again, everybody, for all the support. And Steve and all, you all guys out there. Uh, thank you, guys. And this is Penzerite ending signing off. Bye-bye, guys. Happy modeling. Merry Christmas. And bye-bye.